Russian roulette with shotguns is the easiest way to distill the premise of buckshot roulette. That's kind of the entire game and the only thing I needed to hear to be interested in playing it. This new game, developed by Mike Klubnicki, his name is on the title screen, was just released on Itch.io for a dollar in December. It's now being released on Steam, published by Critical Reflex. We all know the rules of Russian roulette, right? But how do you play it with a 12 gauge? In Buckshot Roulette, the player finds himself in a gritty bathroom. There's some writing on the walls from some likely unfortunate person who previously visited. And then we steal ourselves before kicking the door down. We find ourselves in a nightclub of some sorts. The railing is too high and we can't get a good look. But that's not important because we're actually not here to party. We're here to enter the horrifying den of the dealer to play something known as buckshot roulette. The rules are simple. A shotgun is loaded with an amount of blank and live cartridges. You know how many, but the order is random. You can shoot yourself or the dealer. If someone gets shot, they get a defibrillator charge. These are essentially lives. If someone shoots themselves and it's a blank, they can skip the next person's turn, shoot the dealer enough times, or have him shoot himself enough times before you die, and congrats, you win. But seriously, how badly does this protagonist need cash? To spice up gameplay, however, a bunch of items can really turn this into a strategic tabletop game outside of just chamber counting. During your turn, you can draw from a pool of random items. These include a hacksaw, which makes the shotgun deal more damage than turns, a magnifying glass to check the current shell, drinking a can of beer to eject the current shell, handcuffs to make your opponent skip a turn, and the ability to smoke a cigarette to get the defibrillator charge back. While these won't drastically increase your playtime or add variety to a playthrough, they add some excellent depth to a game by giving you stuff to think about during your turns, which does add tension. After all, the dealer gets items of his own too, meaning you'll have to play smart to minimize the effectiveness of his tools. The developer really nailed the atmosphere with the main background track and the gritty art style. There's as much movement and color as needed, but the movement is confined to the most essential parts and it gets all the details right. Some nice touches include shaking when you aim the gun at yourself that really sells the mood. When you get shot, either by yourself or the dealer, it cuts to black at the perfect time, and when the defibrillator shocks you awake, you'd get jolted. All these little additions really elevate the entire experience. Buckshot Roulette isn't much, but for what it is, it's perfect. It's so accessible and still offers a delightful experience that I can't help but recommend to everyone. I also think that this is the ideal game for streamers. If you want a title that will allow you to really express your personality to a crowd, then a luck-based game with lots of tension is probably perfect, and then it'll require some planning and skill too. But anyway, I can't wait to see what this developer cooks up next. Noisy Pixel is giving Buckshot Roulette a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy Pixel.